Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Mary. And we're with AccuQuilts. We're going to do a great owl pillow project today. This owl is such a hoot, don't you think, it Mary? It certainly is. It's, it's just one of our cutest shapes. I love this. And uh, we're going to show you how to cut it. It's a great die. Uh, here it is right here. It comes with a two-tone foam. And we're just going to layer it with, um, you can use scraps to make your owls or uh, you know anything like that. It's great. There's a lot of small pieces. Uh, it makes it very quick and easy to cut. And you're going, you're going to want to prefuse your fabric for applique. And you can cut up to four layers. Uh, if, with prefused fabric. So we'll put two eyes. So you're digging in your scrap ba basket right now, pulling I, out all the components that you need. Right, and I'm making very good use of those scraps. And then we're just gonna cover it. And this die is compatible with Go Baby as well as Go. That makes it handy to take on projects when you're working away from home as well. Right, and I think you mentioned that this is a great project for kids. It's such a popular motif, so they would have fun building these parts to come up with their owl. I got a little crazy with my eyes, but that's okay. You well, can do you that know, too. We can we can have fun with how we place that. Okay, and here's my little um, the pupils and his little nose. There we go. Fun. Now, once you place everything the way you'd like it to look, you're going to take it and fuse it on following your manufacturer's instructions. And once you do that, you can have fun stitching and um, embellishing your project. On this particular one, we've zigzagged it, but if your machine has a buttonhole option, you might wanna use that or any other decorative stitch that might be on your sewing machine. Um, you know, you could also vary your thread color mm -hmm. as well as the thread weight to get lots of different looks. That's a great idea. Uh, we also kind of, uh, we talked about uh, you could make other fun characters. We think this could be a cow if, oh. you, if you wanted, um, you know, to put, you could put your eyes and your nose like that and have some fun that way as well. Oh, that's so, adorable. Yeah, a lot of, lot of, could be very creative with this. And you know, children are ones that see these without those uh, structures around them. So they would, they would probably see things we as adults don't see. So that's, a, yeah, let, let, the, let the kids go wild with this. Um, this. So this is a six and a half inch square. I think you might've mentioned that. And then the three and a half inch square is what makes the four patch here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna cut that and sew that for you so we can show how that goes together. So this is the, the go. And make sure your fabric's on the lengthwise grain. I also have my, um, I've got my layers here, they're facing the right, right sides, right sides together. together. Which makes it easy for me to sew them then because I don't have to replace them as you take them to your sewing machine. Right, so it makes it easy to um, chain sew those too. And there you go. Those beginner sewers would love this project because they're going to have instant satisfaction. I'm just going to stitch this, and as Lynn said earlier, she has right sides together already. So we're just going to stitch our quarter inch seam in place. And all of our geometric shapes are designed with the standard quarter inch seam allowance. That makes it easy to um, always remember that. Makes your project nice and accurate. I love accurate projects. They end up being successful. <laughs> Okay, so then uh, you'd press that to, to the, the to dark the, side. The dark side, which you're very familiar with, right, I, Mary? I walk along the dark side many, many, many days. Um, once you get your components done, you're going to put your two sets together. Your seams are pressed to, towards the dark side, so you can just interlock those seams with that ledge and construct your four patch very quick and easy. I also wanted to point out, you can again have a lot more fun with your owl. Um, this is the stem from the round flower die. So this you could use as a branch for just one more idea. Use a branch for your owl if you want to create a scene and so lots of fun. That makes it darling. Right. So this quick and easy uh, pillow project makes a 24 inch finished pillow and you can find the pattern, download it from AccuQuilt.com. You can also find the pattern right inside of the owl package.
And while you're on AccuQuilt.com, mm -hmm. be sure to check out our blog. We have lots of tips and tricks on there. Uh, while you're on our webpage, check Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest as well. Every quilter knows that better cuts make better quilts.